It's Tuesday, April 28th, and I'm drinking out of my New York Starbucks mug. New York! New York! Another trinket from my uh, back shelf over there is a handmade Sherlock Holmes bust given to me by none other than Wifey uh, for one holiday or another. I forget which one it was, but it's really cool. And if you see here some cool details, there's Watson Service Revolver, Sherlock's 38 Snub Nose, and the Hound of the Baskervilles. Probably the greatest uh, detective novel of all time. Now let's get to the book. 637 Best Things Anybody Ever Said. Starting with 197, Bertrand Russell. Patriotism is the willingness to kill and be killed for trivial reasons. He's not wrong. 198, George Bernard, Bernard Shaw. Democracy substitutes election by the incompetent many for appointment by the corrupt few. Ooh. <sighs> 199, Oscar Wilde. American has been discovered before, but it has always been hushed up. I don't know if that's supposed to be America has been discovered before. Anyway, it's not as wittiest. 200. We're on 200 now. We're almost a third of the way through this book. George Bernard Shaw again. I can't say Bernard. I keep saying Bernard. George Bernard. Uh, okay. The 100% American is 99% idiot. Man. 201. Government which robs Peter to pay Paul can always depend on the support of Paul. Socialism, 202, and that's the world in a nutshell, an appropriate receptacle, <laughs> stand done, 203, the remarkable thing about Shakespeare is that he really is very good, in spite of all the people who say he is very good, <laughs> Robert Graves, 204, crude, immoral, vulgar, and senseless. That's Tolstoy on Shakespeare. <laughs> 205. I know not, sir, whether Bacon wrote the works of Shakespeare. But if he did, or but if he... Sorry. But if he did not, it seems to me that he missed the opportunity of his life. <laughs> James Barry. That's funny. I'm going to read that one again. I know not, sir, whether Bacon wrote the works of Shakespeare, but if he did not, it seems to me that he missed the opportunity of his life. 206. If Shakespeare had been in pro basketball, he never would have had the time to write his soliloquies. He would always have been on a plane between Kansas and Phoenix. Uh, Paul Westhead, basketball coach. I think we're going to stop there. That's 207. All right. Um, nothing else is really happening today. Just trying to get some work done, doing some uh, chores around the house, like clean my bathroom, take out the trash. Uh, my wife's on the other side of that wall, and she is uh, determined for me to do those things. Uh, what are you guys thinking about my beard? I'm not enjoying it. Um, I'm not a beard guy. The goatee here is just because um, I don't have a chin. Um, this is looking very mossy, almost like a peat, a peat beard. Um, yeah, so I think I might get rid of that. But anyway, uh, talk to you guys tomorrow. Love you. Later.